Hello everybody, what's going on and welcome to a game of uh, how to play Elemental Shaman. I'm starting a little bit earlier to start off just before the game um, starts uh, as well. So the first thing in order to be successful, or somewhat successful at least, is to stay alive. And here's immediately a disclaimer. By no means whatsoever do I think I'm very good or any good at the game it's just I have a lot of games played on this fella and so um, I have improved as I've noticed myself I don't die quite as often anymore and uh, things in general go a little bit better for me so um, yeah take it uh, take it for what it's worth so to start off this guy was coming for me. I tried to stun him, but then at the right moment he pulled uh, um, his uh, his walking thingamajig. Okay, so I'm trying to get away from him, of course. I blew him away. Then I had to jump. Now I'm frost rocking him just to slow him down. He's being attacked by somebody else as well, and there he's gone. And the first thing, always, you know this is um, everybody gets dot up, dotted up he's being um, he's in the smoke bomb so focus on the next guy my um, lava burst was down so I switch immediately to frost chuck I have a couple of um, frost chucks left so I jumped in just to close the gap a little bit further so here's a great AoE situation for me. So I pulled my Stormkeeper and just um, let it rip basically. And as you saw, I was attacked by the warrior. So I tried to get rid of my um, charges first. I had a little bit of time, I knew that. Even though against the warrior, that probably doesn't mean much. And then um, fired first, got a kill, and then actually jumped away. Uh, same here, there's a rogue. I like to dot them up immediately so that if they want to hide They uh, yeah, they gotta um, Do a cooldown pull a cooldown Warriors I'm afraid of so immediately he got to me and I uh, Pulled my stun my lightning lasso and it worked out for me Just on the way, I tried to dot this guy up, and uh, you know he pulled me in, and that makes sense. I rooted him. I have a little bit of time before he gets to me. Go in wolf, wolf form. I can't be slowed down to less than 100%, so I continue to kite him. Try to get a heal in. In now, of course, nature locked. A little bit tricky. I have a stone I'm going to pull right now. My stun is ready as well, so I'll use everything I can just to uh, get away from this fella. But it's not looking good. Nature lock, I'm getting some heals. Will it be enough? Just barely. I pulled my uh, shield in between as well. Now I have a little bit more time. Can jump away and actually finish this quite calmly. But yeah, I needed help there for sure, as you saw. But that's sometimes just the, the trick you have to you have to aim for if you're under that much pressure. And here again, everything that's in range I'm gonna gonna dot up um, in order to get my procs. So if you're under a lot of pressure, then focus solely on on your defenses. And you know, we all know um, that they are not really the best in the game we have. But focus on them. And just try to buy yourself some time, and in some situations, it uh, it works out like that, and you just get a heal in time. Somebody is there to help you. That's that. That's a rogue. I'm gonna jump away again, slow him down. Now dot him up, and I'm gonna use the stun. 
Just to position myself a little bit better, I was right in the thick of it and I don't want to be right in the thick of it. I'm gonna wait until he lands to put him down there. I needed to wait until he was on the right side for the terrain for me to shoot him away actually. Uh, slowed him down, yeah great. And at the same time, ah! Gonna use the stone and my shield. Got a healer there as well, that's good to know. Let's see what I can do here. This is okay, but again, I am getting the heals. Quick look where my stun is. I'm under a lot of pressure. I'm just gonna stun him. And let somebody else, else finish him off. AoE situation, Stormkeeper. Damage totem, focus on the healer. Boom, perfect. That was nice. Another 1 million crit behind it. Awesome, that was a nice clean up there. Did some nice damage. So I'm just looking, I don't expect to be able to do much here. But uh, three guys were coming in right after me. Got a couple of guys up. Just again for the uh, procs. Use, uh, look for a lower health target. Got the killing bow as well. Cycle through. Dot people up. Why can I get back to him? Um, so yeah, I just waited a little bit before I engaged here to see if more people were coming. Uh, spell reflect, so I quickly change. It's doing a lot of Damage, damage, he stunned me right when I used my stun as well. Slow him down. Okay, excellent, this worked. For myself a heal. And don't forget your friends. Mr. Rec gets a couple and, uh, what's his name, Boo. It's a couple as well. He's healing himself too. Okay, and back into the fray. Just start him up. I don't expect to do much damage right here, but if I'm following through, then you know by the time I get there, I might have a uh, um, an instant cast ready, or in this case, I can just start casting without needing to setting up again. This guy's trying to run away, so frost shock, and that's all I do while I follow him. Now I'm close enough; I know that this is the range for my um, ah, what was it? My lava burst to go through. He pulled main, I jumped away. You know, general stuff. What I do is, if I know the, the fight is about to end and I have some maelstrom, no matter what, I get rid of my maelstrom. Because um, it depletes relatively quickly, so no need to hold on to it because it's gonna go away soon, anyways. Send an Ice Fury in there. Um, because I didn't necessarily expect to get a proc of Lava Burst, so I just started it. And now for the next fight, luckily I have a little bit uh, left over there. Throw this guy another heal as well. No. There's a rogue. Put him up. Okay, again, this guy is on me, I'll stun him. Just uh, build up to a little bit of um, distance. And now do everything else that I have. He's still gonna come for me. No, that's good. Okay, so I wasted a lot of my cooldowns on the one guy. Oops, and there we ended. Well, that was that was pretty good. Um, did a ride in damage. I didn't die, as I said. I got 12 killing blows. That's secondary, but as I said, um, the the main focus of you need to be don't die, stay in the back, do some damage from behind, and just you know try to get away out of precarious situations without necessarily needing to kill at any given time. So, and then there you go. That's how I feel um, the Elemental Shaman needs to be played in order to be somewhat successful. This one actually worked out quite nicely, I believe. I needed help from the healers a couple of times, but, you know, it is a battleground. It's a small battleground as well, where um, there is not too much uh, running away necessarily. So yeah, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this, uh, hit me up with a comment, a sub, or a like. Let me know if you want to see more of this kind of stuff where I explain a lot more, talk a lot more, and I can make that happen as well. 
Thanks again for watching, guys, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.